Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for November 27th through December 3rd. This is intended to be a love reading but we will see what comes up. It's for the sign of Pisces and this is not a private reading, okay? This is a general reading. It may resonate with you fully, it may not resonate at all. It may resonate only bits and pieces. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled this deck and I will uh, get this focused in correctly once I have the cards laid out. <laughs> Finally, we got one that's upright. All the rest are reversed. Oh, well, there we got another one that's upright. You're grown weary. That's the basis of your reading. The Nine of Wands. It's like you have some doubt. You know, I just want to remind you, look how far you've come. Look how far you've come. I think you, you feel like you're at the end of the road. All right, you're at the end of the road. You're feeling discontent. Um, you're starting to have some doubt and some fear. You're on the edge. It feels like you're on the edge of quitting something, okay? You're on the edge of quitting. You may be feeling cold-hearted, you know, a little cold or withdrawn this week. Let me zoom this in. You have a hard time with talking. There we go. Um, so, yeah, you may, you may be feeling withdrawn, feeling like, you know what? I'm not sure how much more I can do this, you know? I'm not sure I've reached my wit's end here. You know, and it feels like things have been out of control. Things are out of control. It feels like um, you're stuck. It's like you're stuck in the mud. There's no forward movement. There's no more. It feels like there's not a lot of growth. Um, you're thinking about leaving a situation. You're thinking about walking away completely feels like you just can't deal with the conflicts anymore and you're feeling quite withdrawn. Perhaps you don't even want to talk to anybody. feels like you, you might be even kind of like miserable. Like I'm feeling, not even like miserable. Can you think of a better word? Kind of like helpless. This, the, the situation is helpless. I can't, I can't move forward here. It feels like there's more than one person involved. There could have been a bickerment, you know. There could have been a third-party situation where there's three people involved and there's a lot of drama, a lot of fighting. And it feels like you don't, you just can't defend yourself. You don't want to defend yourself anymore. You're sick of it. It's like, you know what, I can't do this anymore. I'm moving on. It feels like some kind of secret has been revealed, okay, with this judgment card. Something has been revealed and you have all these doubts about this situation. And you're like, you know what? <laughs> it's time for me to do the right thing for me. All right? It's time. It's time for me to do the right thing for me. I have to release this heavy load, this heaviness. I can't carry it around me anymore. All right? It feels like there is some karma here with the justice card and the judgment cards. That Those are definitely karma cards. There was a lesson that needed to be learned. Um, and you know, what comes around goes around. So I just have to, I have to tell you that these are, that, that's what karma is. And these are both karma cards right next to each other. Um, it feels like, um, it's time to shed the old and that's probably what you're contemplating. You're contemplating letting go. Bye. You know, that's what I see. Goodbye. I just can't do this anymore. You know, because you're looking for more. You're looking for something that has room to grow. And things are going backwards, not forwards. Okay? That's what I see. It's like, you know, I want growth in this relationship. But, you know, it doesn't look good. It looks like we're not going anywhere. And as a matter of fact, things are getting muddier than they were before. Okay? And I think because there's more than one person in the picture and you... You know, there's everybody is putting their two cents in or something like that, you know, or or somebody has another person on the side. And that could be the secret that was revealed, you know, and you're just like, I don't trust you anymore. I can't trust this situation. I don't have faith in it anymore. I, can't, I have to release myself from this drama. And you I think, you know, it's a, it, there's a withdrawn, cold um energy here you know whether that's you or somebody else i'm not sure i'm gonna let you know who we're dealing with we have aries uh leo sagittarius we have pisces cancer scorpio which would be you 
We have um, Aries again. I, I really believe that there's been things are out of out of control because the air this emperor is reversed. It feels like um, maybe there was some manipulation or there was something that um, some some chaos that happened. You know, some kind of chaos that dis disrupted your whole thoughts of whatever it was you know there was some kind of disruption here that brought in like a, a bunch of bullshit okay for lack of a better word and it's like you know I, I have to do something else I, I can't do this anymore I'm looking for something more all right um yeah I think you're looking for six a successful relationship or something like that not where this is I mean there's no success here it's like you've put in all that you can put in and you can't do it anymore I just can't do it anymore um, there may be some legal matters in the future and you know you're contemplating what you're gonna do about that for some of you For many of you, there's definitely a third party situation. Could be with a partner, could be with a child, could be with a brother, sister, whatever. There's a third party situation where there's more than one person in the in the middle of this. So um, maybe you found out about something and it's really, it was the last straw. Yeah, something's over. There's no, it's over. You've been defeated. It feels like, you know what? It's over. It's over. The truth has come out and it's over. Here's the truth. Here's the truth that came out and now it's over. There's no more growth. You've hit rock bottom. There's only one place to go from here and that's up and out of here. Okay? Because it's time for you to bring your self-respect. It's like there was, there's a lack of self-respect here or a lack of respect, period. Okay? There's no more progress. You can't move forward. All right? There's, there's no place to go from here. It's over. Things have been out of balance. You know, things have been out of balance for a while. And probably maybe somebody has been ignoring the, that truth. Maybe they've been overindulging, you know, burying up the truth with alcohol, drugs, food, spending, whatever. Because these are addictions, you know, they've been hiding the truth, faking it, pretending, pretending something wasn't a lie, you know what I mean? But it came out and now it's like, it's like crisis mode, all right, we're in crisis mode now, you know? There's no, there's this ace of cups is reversed, something has happened where it's not love anymore, there's no more love, okay? It's time for something new, it's time for a... A new beginning in love. Okay? It's like, I can't do this anymore. I want something else. I'm looking for something else. Nope. I want new love. You're not it. You know, for somebody. I don't know who this is for. But I see, you know, that many of you are looking for more in love than where you were getting and you're saying goodbye. Perhaps somebody had a third party situation. I just have to keep... I know I repeat myself a lot, but that's just the way it is. Um... I feel like many of you were focused, you weren't focused, okay, because this is reversed, you weren't focused correctly, you weren't focused on what you needed to focus on, okay, because this is reversed, you, you didn't do your homework, all right, that's what this is, it's like you didn't go within, you didn't do your homework, and because of that, some kind of truth came out, because it was just like, um, What's the word for it? Loose. You know what I mean? Whatever was going on just wasn't too... It was going to come out. It was going to come out because somebody didn't... It, it wasn't hidden enough. You know what I mean? It, they, weren't, they weren't careful enough. They didn't focus on their plan, you know? And now the truth has come out. And I'm not sure if that's you or somebody else, but the truth has come out and you can't ignore it anymore. Something is over completely all right because you're looking for love where things can progress and things can grow so this week 
is for you to remember how far you've come. Okay, remember how far you've come. I think that this week you, you are sincerely on the edge of ending something. You are right there ready. It's like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. I'm at my wit's end. Goodbye. Interesting. Number 23. I have to read these because I can't remember them. Take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. I see that you want real love. Many of you are looking for that real deal. All right? And I think that you're just realizing that somebody, for some somebody, I don't know who, somebody is realizing that where they're at or where they were just at is not the real deal. Okay? Take a chance on love. There are so many rewards that will come to you when you love openly. Your caring will not only help the other person involved, it will also create more love for you. Let your fear go and give the love you are longing to receive. Let your fear go and give the love you are longing to receive. You will find that it is one and the same. What you give is what you get. So Pisces, this is for you for November 27th through December 3rd. What you give is what you get. I hope you enjoyed your reading.